Now it's time to take a full walking tour of the majestic mirage in Punta Cana. Here is the entrance, and just to note, they do sanitize all of your bags, your hands, take your temperature upon arrival. Over here to the right is the check-in and the check-out area. It is a pretty seamless process. They also have a really nice restroom that has a shower and changing area if you get there early and your room is not ready or if you have to leave your room and you're leaving later when you're departing. They also have a great area for snacks and coffee while you're waiting. As you leave the check-in area, off to the right is the Go Majestic office. This is where you're going to book any tours, check in about your transportation. Right next to the Go Majestic is the gym. back in the lobby area and here at night they have a piano player they also have this really great bar that makes amazing craft cocktails As you can see, the lobby is absolutely beautiful and they keep it very, very clean. Here is the lobby bar and I recorded this very early in the morning, which is why you don't see a lot of people around. I don't believe they had this one staff during the day. The bar upstairs was open and I'm pretty sure that's due to COVID, but at night they had it staffed, um, but there's plenty of bars all around the property. In the lobby area is where you will also find all of the restaurants, well, most of the restaurants. Here is the Italian restaurant, which we ate in the first night we were there and we really liked it, except for the pizza. I was disappointed in the pizza, but other than that, the food was really good. Next to the Italian restaurant is the Hibachi restaurant, which was one of our favorites. Definitely recommend making a reservation. 
at this restaurant. Next to the hibachi is the French restaurant. This was our least favorite. And then the steakhouse is over in the courtyard. And over here is the courtyard, one of my favorite things about this resort. Um, in the morning you can go have breakfast and coffee at this little cafe, and at night it really comes alive. They have live music and people gather and watch the different entertainment, and then they also have several restaurants here. And here is the Steakhouse restaurant, which was our second favorite. Definitely recommend making a reservation here and you can eat inside or outside. As we continue to walk through the courtyard, you'll see there are several shops. Here is the Majestic Logo Shop, but they have different ones too that you can purchase items. And one of our favorite things too, even though we didn't come here that often, but it's just nice to have, is the 24 hour bar and grill, the sports bar. Here are more shops, and next to that shop, there's even a little drugstore. They have a Quicksilver as well, a little bit on the pricier side, but really nice items in there. One of my favorite things was this cafe. That's something I love in a resort, is to wake up and go to a specialty coffee shop, and they had lots of different coffees. They even had juices and really nice donuts and pastries one of my favorite things about the resort. And then finally in the courtyard is over here where they had the nightly entertainment. So if that's something that you love about resort, the entertainment, they had something different every single night and it was really good. So now we are going to walk over towards the pools and the beach. This resort is known for being a wedding destination. We didn't really see any weddings while we were there. We did hear that some people were there for a wedding, so that area right there is where they take pictures and one night we did see a large party dining and being served there. Here is the map of the resort and as you can see it's not a huge property which we like. We like to be able to walk the property and over there to the left are the family buildings, building one and two. While it does have those two buildings reserved for families, I wouldn't really consider this a family resort. There is not a ton of things to do for families. I would not bring my family here, but I would definitely come back with couples again.
So here is the family section of the resort. And I do wanna note that I did not spend any time here. So even though I'm saying it seems like there were not that many activities for kids, I also did not spend any time over here. So it just seemed a little sparse to me. They had a few ping pong tables and floats for the pool. They did have the bar for the adults too. Just didn't seem like a lot was going on um, compared to other resorts that I've been to. The layout of the pool was different for me as well. It was like a long lazy river that lined all of the room buildings in the resort. And so for me, it felt very odd. I felt like anytime I was at the pool, I was invading someone's privacy, but it might be, especially for families, a really neat thing to have. But for me, it just wasn't the type of layout that I enjoy. Here is where they listed the evening activities. The activities for the pool were on a computer screen up in the lobby. And now we are getting into more of the adult section of the resort and heading to the beach. One of my favorite things was walking up this walkway and seeing the beautiful blue water. That's one thing Punta Cana definitely has is beautiful, beautiful beaches.
Here is the buffet by the beach, and I forgot to mention and show you the buffet in the lobby. There's one to the side of the lobby that's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This one Hello. is open for breakfast and lunch. It does not open for breakfast until 10 a.m., but it's very, very good, and we would wait just to be able to sit by the water. And then at night, it becomes a seafood restaurant, which we did not get the chance to try. There is another bar here to the left that we went to in the evenings. We saw a lot of people hanging out there. And then um, it closed, I think, around 11. But then that sports bar was open 24-7. Okay, now um, I'm walking over towards the adults only section. Um, there's actually two adults only sections of the beach. This is one of them. And there are plenty of seating. You never have to worry about getting up and reserving anything. There's always plenty of seating. Here's a bar where we spent most of our time. Again, there's plenty of bars all around the property. So one nice perk of booking the club level is access to this club lounge. So if you want to get a break from the heat and the sun, you can come in. It's um, open in the morning till night. It's air conditioned and it's stocked with uh, snacks, coffee, drinks, anything that you could think of. Now let's hit the beach. Over to the left here is the water sports hut where you can book motorized and non-motorized water sports. The non-motorized water sports were included with your stay. Wind can play a factor whether you can take some of those out into the water. And in fact, one day it was too windy to be on the beach itself. Again, this side that we're looking at now is the adults only section, but we are coming up on the family section in just a minute. So 
So this area is the family section. Again, I did not spend any time here because I was not with my family. Over on this side is where you can get the massages, the couple massages right here on the beach. And as you will see over here, they have the same bar and club lounge that they do have that they have on the other side on this side for these buildings. And now back to the lobby. I hope you found this walking tour helpful and I do respond to all comments and questions. And if you did find this video useful, please like and subscribe and follow us on Three Days and Tres Noches while we go on fun, affordable, and exciting adventures and vacations that you can have in a really short amount of time.